Hey everyone, a lot of you will know we have a site full of team comps for TFT, but we also do these expert video guides to take it one step further. You can find all of our comps for set 5 on our website and all the information like spatulas, which is linked down below. So like the name suggests, this comp is going to revolve around Karma and the Dawnbringer trait. Karma is a magic damage carry that wants to cast multiple times throughout the fight, while the Dawnbringer trait helps keep her and the other Dawnbringers alive with a heal that activates once they hit 50% health. This comp is a default leveling comp, but that means it doesn't rely on any 3 star units and you will level at a regular pace, you will roll at 7 if you need to get a bit stronger, but really save your gold for level 8. So for level 8 comp then is going to be Karma, Garen, Volibear, Ivan, Nidalee, Riven, Soraka and Gragas. Your best chance to win with this comp and to come first place is to simply complete the team with all 2 star units and have really strong items for your carries. Hitting things like level 9 or 3 starring your Karma will definitely help you win as well, but that's not going to happen every single game. Karma 2 star is a strong enough carry anyway and filling the rest of your team with strong units and items will put you in a really solid position to win. Now your main options when it comes to this comp is dropping down to 4 or even 2 Dawnbringer in favour of stronger late game units. This means that the units you are looking to replace are Nidalee, Riven, Soraka and Gragas. Soraka is pretty nice to keep though as she combines with Ivan to provide Renewer. Here are some examples of late game units so you can add into your team comp. So first of all, Tarek combines with Garen to provide Knight while also providing more frontline and healing to the team. So he's a pretty simple replacement for Gragas. Heimerdinger can replace Soraka as he provides a lot of late game damage, also provides a healing debuff, but he will keep the renewer buff as well. Finally, Kale can replace a unit like Nidalee and potentially become a second carry if you have extra items for her. Lastly, you can look to replace two of your Dawnbringer units for these late game Mystic units. This will be really good when facing against magic damage comps while also providing some more utility as well. So it's definitely a really powerful late game option. Dawnbringer Spatula is a clear choice for this team comp and that can allow you to keep 6 Dawnbringer while also replacing a weaker unit for a stronger one late game. In terms of Shadow Spatula, Revenant is really strong for this comp as you're running the Volibear Ivan combo anyway. This could replace a Guardian Angel for a unit like Karma or also be placed on a frontliner like Garen who will also provide a lot of solid damage for the team. Now let's talk about our shadowed item. So Chalice of Malice is an amazing item to buff up Karma's damage. The holder will lose spell power, but you can place this on one of your units like Soraka or Nidalee. You aren't looking to itemize these units as carries anyway, so having them buff up Karma will do more good than harm. Sacrificial Gauntlet is a stronger version of your Jeweled Gauntlet, but it is kind of risky as you'll need a healing item on Karma in order to offset the damage taken from casting over and over. Arcdemon Staff is also a decent item on Karma because she casts so often she will gain max health every single time. The problem is that Karma's mana pool is pretty small so she won't gain lots of health with this item but it also acts as a defensive one which isn't necessarily stronger than something like Guardian Angel or Hexa Gunblade but it can replace it. Your Shadow Guardian Angel is also a strong item on Garen. It makes him very difficult to kill. He will lose attack speed after reviving but his main role in the team is to cast his ability rather than auto attack so that trade off kind of works in your favor. And lastly, we have our Shadow Rabadon. So this item is mainly used if you want to make your Karma as strong as possible. The increased ability power when combined with something like Jeweled Gauntlet will make Karma deal insane damage, but she's pretty fragile. Now let's go into our item. So our main carry is going to be Karma. Now Karma is a magic damage carry with a low mana pool, so you definitely want to have some mana generation like a blue buff. Other than that, you will simply want magic damage items like Jeweled Gauntlet, Rabadon's Death Cap, or some of these shadow items we listed before. Lastly, you can choose to have some sort of defensive item as well, like a Guardian Angel, a Quicksilver, or even use a healing item like a Hexa Gunblade. So for example, a good three item set would look like Blue Buff, Jeweled Gauntlet, and then your Shadow Rabadons. In terms of good items on our non-carry units though, Garen in general will want to have the extra defensive items that you have like Bramble Vest and Dragon's Claw. You also want to put offensive items on him as well since he does a decent chunk of damage with his ability so he can kind of hold anything. Now Karma can struggle a little bit against enemies with a very strong healing because she doesn't have huge burst damage but more sustained over time. Morello or even Shadow Morello can provide a very useful healing debuff on enemies and Volibear applies his debuff very well with his ability. So now let's go stage by stage and break down the strategy of the comp. So as we said, the general idea is your default leveling up to 8. 
With almost all default comps, you can start the game with just about any units and look to either win streak or lose streak. Even if you aren't running Dawnbringer units early on, if you plan on running this comp, make sure you build strong items for Karma. During stage 3, then you level up to 6 or 3 2 and build the strongest board that you can with the units that you find. You can roll down a little bit if you want to be aggressive or you want to stabilize, but you'll get more mileage if you can wait until at least level 7 to roll. By this point, you'll want to start to look for Dawnbringer units to aid in that transition into this comp later. During stage 4, then you level up to 7 at 4 1, and if you need to stabilize, you should roll down a bit in order to find and build a stronger team. If you're healthy though or strong enough to hold off, wait until level 8 to roll down instead. During stage 5, you really need to be level 8 by 5-1 and then roll down to complete your team. After this point, you keep rolling to upgrade your team if you need to, but you can also look to start to save up to level 9 or other win conditions like Karma 3 star. The positioning for this team is actually very simple though. You put your frontline units in the front with a few units in the back to protect your Karma. Watch out for things like Thresh or Zyra who can easily crowd control the corner of your board and also Viego who will try to nab your Karma and seal her. Here's an example of an early game board that will transition really well into this comp later. So that will give you everything you need to know to win with our Dawnbringer Karma comp. Remember you can follow along with this guide in game with our TFT overlay. So make sure you download that and bring it with you into your next game.